Welcome to SC Custom Designs. We are working on our next project. When I say we, I am. Um, and it is our was our quarter bath. Um, this is our house of 103 years old or something like this. And um, we go room by room by room by room. The uh, idea that I'm on this room means we're getting close to getting our house back, you know, on the market. We'd like to uh, remove out of this uh, city and get in more toward the country-ish. So that aside, what are we looking at here? So um, when I first moved in, I think that this was all sheet rock, but it was falling apart and covered this whole area up. I'm pretty sure it was plaster and lath. And um, so what I'm going to be doing in this bathroom oh by the way we we have a sink that we put in had put in hired a plumber to do that uh which makes this more than maybe a half bath i really don't know um so what do we got going on here besides paint coming off um we are going to i already started uh hollowing out there's probably a, a, a the right word for this for brickwork i don't really do brickwork but I'm um, cleaning it out so I can fill it back in and make it look really, really smart. Um, I bought some tools, a simple tool that uh, allows you to push in that uh, crate, whatever it is. I bought that uh, bag today. So we're going to clean up this whole brick and fill it in, make it look new. Um, this is going to get painted I don't know if we're painting this yet. This here will uh, be a storage area, uh, which didn't previously exist. And I'm going to make a sliding door unit so you can get things back in there. I'm going to be putting um, T111 or beadboard or something like this in here, on here, in here. So it'll close this back up. It's not going to match this. This is, well, 103 years old. <laughs> Um, not really too concerned about matching it, honestly. Um, I'm going to take this trim off and we'll put it down in the, the wood pile of things, which I'm glad I do through the years. And I'm going to be making a little uh, two and a half inch uh, ledge, which is going to go along the side like this. Um, if we lift up the drop cloth, you're going to see that this here is um, plyboard, which was put in um, to have this toilet, um, which I also paid a plumber to put this new toilet in and to run all the new piping and, and stuff. Okay, so you get to see what this looks like. Let me come inside. There's really not a lot of room in here. But uh, there you go. And I'll, I'll be... Uh, putting some sheetrock up there and I'm just going to meet this old plaster and lath. I'm going to leave it. I don't see the point in taking it down because I can blend that in, not a problem. If you've been watching my channel for any period of time, you know that um, I've done all my ceilings over and lots of walls. Thanks for coming into the work area of SC Custom Designs. Uh, if you like what you see, please, uh, Give us a thumbs up, smash that thumbs up, leave us comments, and we're going to make this a series. So once again, we'll just pan over the area so you can see, you'll see the differences as we go along. But today, basically today's work is, is taking out this old uh, mortar. So it looks like this and down to this. Took off that plaster and lath, which managed to stay up through the years because I didn't need to take it. I've got one more piece to take out there. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching SC Cousin Designs. Do our usual goodbye. Shalom Ovecha. Hebrew, Masalami, Arabic, Totsens, Afrikaans, Tsaijin, Mandarin. Um, Au revoir. Shalom.